Hi hey guys, and here's a quick tutorial um, just to give you a basic uh, concept of how Apple did uh, one of their promotional videos. So this is basically the um, the promotional video that, that they that they made, and um, I'm going to show you the basic concept of how we can begin to create something like this with these um, animated dots, which which draw the lines behind us. So. This is uh, what I've created so far. Um, so you can see it's in a similar style um, to, to the Apple one. It's not an exact copy. But this is just um, to show you the basics of how we actually go about creating a project like this. So I'll just um, save this current one. Okay, and we'll open up a new motion project. Broadcast HD 180. So, okay, open. All right, so um, we're going to start off by placing in a background um, for us. So we're just going to uh, draw in a square. Approximately fills our stage here, center it up, and uh, then we're going to want to give it a slightly grayish color, and we'll drop on a filter to that. Go to our library, uh, filters, all, and we want to search for the vignette. So we'll drop a vignette filter onto there into our rectangle. Now we'll just edit the properties of that. Yeah, so we've got a very slight vignette effect there. And then we'll change our group name here to BG for background. And we're done with that. Okay, so now we're going to create a new group. And we'll call this um, text. And we'll drop in our text here. And uh, see the first the first part of this would be um, if everyone. So that will be our first text. So we'll say if everyone, and then we're going to want to change this text in the style to black. And in our format, I've chosen Helvetica, and we'll go for Helvetica Light. We'll increase the size a little bit, and we'll center this up approximately centered on our screen. It's not critical that it's centered because we'll be able to center it correctly in our frame using the um, camera tool later. So there we go. So we can use those yellow guides just to center it up. Now we'll create a new uh, group which I'll call dots. And we'll grab our circle tool. Um, sorry, first of all we'll start with our rectangle. We're going to want a rectangle so that we can line up our dots and make it square. So let's draw in a square. To keep it perfectly square, we'll hold down the shift key. We'll drag this out. And then let's put our dots layer beneath our text layer. Hold on, we don't want it to be part of it. One moment. Let's bring our text layer above our dots. There we go, that'll make it easier. Okay, so now we can position our rectangle. So it's also centered around there. Okay, doesn't matter what color this rectangle is because we're just using it as a guide for us to position our dots. So now we'll go to our circle tool, make sure we're in our dots layer, and we're going to draw a small circle. Again, we'll hold down the shift key and that's probably about the right size. Our fill color will be black. Uh, no outline. Okay, let's go to our geometry again or our properties. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Okay. So now we're good with that. Um, what we're going to want to do now is create clones. Or um, 
duplicates. So one, two, three, and four. So we need four circles. And we're going to want to position these four circles on the four corners of our square. So we can use the snap tool to help us with that. Okay, so there's our four circles on the four corners. We can hide our rectangle. You can see now we've got that uh, arranged on our screen. So now those circles we're going to want to animate, we're going to want to animate our text. So let's go to our text and uh, over in the layout inspector of our text, you can see this end, we can move this backwards and forwards and it will alter the text. So let's take that to there, we'll add a keyframe zero, we'll go forward five frames, bring it in so we can see the word if, and then we'll go forward in the five frames, we'll add another keyframe, and then we'll go forward another five frames, and we'll finish bringing everything in. So if we play that, you see we get a little bit of a pause between the if and the everyone. Now I want to s slow down the everyone a little bit, maybe we'll make the, the everyone, whoops, we'll make the everyone somewhere around frame 20. Now let's see that. Okay, that's a little bit better. So the text all comes on at approximately the same speed. Next will be our dots. So we actually don't want the dots to appear until after the text is already on the screen, or at least part way through. So we're going to move our dots group forward a little bit, probably to about here. And we're going to want to fade those in. So we'll go to our properties and we'll apply this to the whole of the dots group. And we'll take our opacity down to zero, add a keyframe. And we'll go forward, put about to frame 15, and we'll bring our opacity up to 100%. So now if we play this, you'll see our text comes in and our dots also fade in. I want to make that dot fade in a little bit longer. We could take it up to frame 20 also. There. Now, as soon as those dots appear, this is where we're going to want to want, want to start drawing our lines. So we're going to use the Bezier tool here, and we're going to want to draw in four lines um, connecting each of these dots. And you're going to want to go in a clockwise direction. So we're going to want to start here, we'll draw a line down, and then we'll draw another line this way, we'll draw another this way, and another that way. So click there, there's point one and point two. So once we've got that, we will then alter the properties of this. Um, we'll go to our shape, we do want no fill. We want an outline, but it'll be black, and we'll make our width of our line about six. So there's our first line joining up our first two dots. I'm going to show you how we animate this. Um, I don't have enough time in this video tutorial, and uh, I don't want to bore you all by animating each individual dot. So I'll show you the basic concept of how one is done, and then you'll just replicate that to the others. So. After our dot has faded in, we're going to want to start drawing the line. So we'll go over to our um, line, which is here. And again, we'll use our last point offset. We'll set that to zero. And we'll add it in as a keyframe. And I want it to take around 10 frames, say, to draw this. So we'll go forward to frame 30. And we'll move our last point offset down to there. So now, if we play this, there's our line. It's a little bit fast, so let's uh, maybe make it frame 40. We'll see how that looks. 
want this to be drawn pretty smooth, almost like it's being drawn by a pen. That's a bit better. So we'll make it, it's going to be frame 40 before our Bezier is finished being drawn. Now we're going to want to animate the dot. So it looks like the dot is actually drawing the line. So we'll go back to here, we'll select our first circle, and in its properties we're going to add its position as a keyframe. Then we'll go forwards to frame 40, where our, circle is, uh, where our line is finished, and we'll drag, so we'll click on it, we'll hold down shift, and, um, sorry, we'll click, we'll move, we'll hold down shift, and then... We'll drag it down to here. Okay. It needs to go a little bit further. There. So it lines up with our other dot. So now if we watch this, you'll see that our line is drawn there. Now you'll see that in a couple of places the line is a little bit ahead of the dot, so we'll just keyframe that. So we'll select our Bezier line, and we just adjust our last point offset, so it always stays inside of our circle, so the line doesn't get ahead of the circle. Here you can see it's lagged a little bit behind, so I'll move it forward slightly. It's just a matter of going through and adjusting those keyframes. Okay, and then the final thing we want is the dot should fade out a little bit before it joins up with the other line. So we'll probably start it around frame, say frame 36. So we'll select our circle, uh, properties, our opacity, add a keyframe, and then by the end, by frame 40, we want our opacity to be zero. And that is basically how you animate the line and the text coming onto the screen. Then you'll do the same with all of the other all of the other dots. So this dot would draw a Bezier curve, a Bezier line to the right. This one would travel up. This one would travel to the left. So at the end of it, you'll be left with a circle. So it will form the same effect as what you're seeing in this Apple video here. And you'll see also that the dots don't all appear at the same time. They kind of appear staggered. Um, so we can do that also. We just go back to where our dots fade in. And you can adjust each individual circles uh, as they fade in so uh, that's how you would create that staggered effect but uh, you can just play around with this I've given you the basics of how to start forming this type of um, kinetic text it's quite a nice cool effect um, it's very stylish I think um, so if you wanted you could just uh, continue watching this uh, design by Apple video and just keep on replicating what it is you're seeing. You'll see that the dots continue to just draw various shapes on the screen. And the text appears in the center. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, if you're interested in learning more uh, of how to create this um, type of effect, uh, also just add a comment and I can create, say, a part two or three of this video um, showing how we can develop this to continue to create the similar effect uh, or a copy of that uh, Apple video. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to like this and follow me um, on my blog or subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I'll be showing you more Motion 5 and Final Cut Pro X um, tutorials in the future. Thanks for tuning in.